Alright, I'm going to show you guys how I made this image with the sunflower and everything kind of that goes in to make it like this. So, let's put this guy back at the beginning here and we'll come back to that. So, start in Lightroom. What I want to do, I want to start from scratch so that I can show you also in this one how to make a sunflare and save it in Lightroom so that you can you know, always have that there to click on like I do. So I start with my presets. Uh, this is the Tri Collection that I talked about. It's one of my favorites. I've been using it for a long time. It's beautiful. And then from the small or soulmate, I use the Nature Love Tone. And then what I'll do in this one, because I did show you really dark, is I'm going to lighten it up a little bit and then reset the grain because the presets always add a little grain, especially the Soulmate collection. It adds grain, give it a vintage look, but I don't want the grain. So here we are now. What I'm going to do next is go into my radial filter. I want to, what I'm going to do, and this kind of goes into the other part as well, is it might look strange at the end of Lightroom, but once you get into Photoshop and we add in the sun flare, it'll all make sense. So, this is going to be my sun flare. So, I'm going to do here to move my sun flare is I'm going to bring that warmth all the way up. I'm going to bring the exposure up. The contrast. The shadows, bring the clarity down, behave up, and feather it. About seventy. Okay. So that is my sunflare. So let me click done with that so that we can see that sunflare right now. Then you go to develop, new preset, title, and then you want to make sure that the only box that is checked is the radial filters box. Then hit create. And you can see down here, there is your sunflare. You can just toss it on. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is go back into Radial Filters. Actually, Radial Filter, and I'm going to lighten up him. And then I'm going to lighten up things that I think are important to my image. Like this cute little hand that we think in the body. Now when you use a sun flare, you're going to want to bring up your warmth even more and bring up your exposure more. And then when I use sun flares, I always bring the clarity down a little bit. Um, that kind of helps blend it in with the subject so that it doesn't look too unnatural. Okay. So, this is where I'm at. So, this is what I'm done with in Lightroom. So, then I would export the image and then go into whatever. So, like you see here, there's my sun flare. And so, what I do now. 
it. I want to use this one again. It's my favorite. So you'll see it a lot. I'm going to bring that on here. And then go screen. And get it where we want it. I'm going to get right there. And again, I'm going to use the eraser tool. Make sure that edge is gone. I'm going to bring it back a little bit. And then I want it off his face. I'm okay with it being on the left side of his body. I just don't want it on his face. And then I'm going to bring the opacity down a little bit. Alright, and then for my final touches on this image, my merge files. Bring it into camera raw. Bring it a little more. A little more contrast. And there you have it. Um, so this pretty much would be my final image. I do some small things like clean up the food on his chin there, but. That's it. I hope that that was helpful. If you have questions, you can comment, and I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll try to get some more up for you guys.